Hello everyone, I hope you are well. In today's video, we are going to see how can you generate comments of the code. But before starting, did you watch my previous video in which I talked about how can you generate Excel formulas using ChatGPT? If you are new here, I am Asan and I post Java tutorials on this channel. If you might be interested in watching those videos, consider subscribing to the channel. If you have any questions, comment now on this video. Let's start today's video without any further delay. So first of all, open ChatGPT. I have opened mine and you should have some code so you can generate comments of that code part so i have a spring boot project example this is actually a full project i'm just using an example of a controller so i'm going to copy the code of the controller and just paste it in ChatGPT to see what is going on with this code furthermore i don't know about this code what is uh, what it's doing right now so i'm going to see every line and check everything with ChatGPT so that i can understand the code correctly you have to just paste the code right here and ask ChatGPT to regenerate the code with the comments line and with each of the line it should have a comment line and explaining each and everything so here is a prompt a regenerate the code snippet below but please include comments to each line of code so it will add comments to each line of the code Let's see what we get. I'm going to press enter. So guys, we have the result here and JGBD added those lines, those comment lines here. You can see that. So these are the libraries. So it just added the comment line import required packages. But if you want to know what these libraries are doing, you can ask JGBD to add each line of code to these added libraries. So I'm going to ask ChatGPT to do this and see what we get. So here's the prompt, add comments to each one of the library imported in this code. So this means we will get comment lines added here before the addition of each library. So I'm going to press enter and see what we get. So here's the response of the ChatGPT and it added all the comments to each of the library. You can see that it added to student service library. And in the last we have this library student service here so it added all the comments to each of the library we added there and it explained very well so we can understand what this is library imported for so let's see what it added to the code so here it defines the contrast controller and the base url path for all methods in this class and this one is for inject the student service dependency and it actually explained in detail for each of the line like this map std get request to the url path and retrieve the list of the courses for a specific student based on the student id so by doing this you will get a roughly idea what the code is doing even without understanding the code which is which does not have any common lines so it's very easy for you now for getting a basic understanding about the code let's see another code which i have got in the project here so it's just a student application the java file and it's very short so let's see another one so it's a little bit lengthy i'm going to copy this code here and paste it into the chat gpd and i'm going to type the same prompt as i did before so i'm going to copy that prompt and paste it here and let's see what we get i'm going to press enter so guys here is the result chat gpd gave us it automatically added the comment lines to the libraries because we asked before ChatGPT to add the comment line to the libraries too so it did automatically so it is very much better if you stay in the chat for your specific task so that it can learn what you want to do specifically and so that it can provide you with a perfect result so here it added all the comments lines to the libraries too and for the code it added comment lines here too with a little explanation you can ask ChatGPT to explain it more if you can't understand and each of the line can also provide the details of the functions of hashing like dot put method and string and what are objects in here and what are mapping and in this way you can understand a code without wasting your time so this was all about today's video so in the next video i am going to talk about how can you generate documentation of a code using chat and get specific instructions by chat so that a developer can understand the code easily without wasting his time by looking into the code to each of the line so if you like the video click the like button and click the subscribe button and don't forget to click the bell icon so you will be notified when i publish the video thank you guys for watching